Teams, welcome to the finals. Have you chosen your laggers? Teams, have a great match. Good luck. Good afternoon. And you may lag for break. And welcome to the final. And we cannot wait. Philippines versus Great Britain. The game is 10 ball, best of five sets. Winner breaks and it's call cool shot. I'm Mark White and calling the shots with me in the booth. The very debonair, Mr. Ralph Eckert. Good Hello. afternoon, Ralph. Hello, Mark. Nice to be here with you and joining this Step one final is our team ladies match. championship here. Team Philippines uh, to break. I, get, I, bet, I, get, I bet you are double excited because Team Great Britain is there, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfect. Um, I was kind of thinking what was going to happen if Germany made the final and oh, met you and on. I in the box. There could have been, <laughs> there could have been trouble. <laughs> A lot of trouble, maybe, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> let me just explain exactly the format, what's going on, guys. Uh, first of all, it is the ladies' singles. Then we're going to have the men's singles. And then it's mixed scotch doubles. And then if we still need it, we will go to team choice for another singles if we're level at two sets all we will go to a shootout kelly fisher at the table shot on the one ball okay what do you see here ralph well two ball pretty nice the three ball also open she might need a little angle on the three ball eventually to open this cluster because the four ball is you cannot do much with the four ball right now so i wouldn't I would think that she's going with the cue ball to the long rail, keep an angle yeah. for the three into the lower right corner here, and maybe running with the cue ball into the four and seven cluster. I'm not sure about that, but she has to have some strategy. Right Sounds to like a plan. Sounds like a good plan to me. Let's see how Kelly Fisher goes about it. Different angle, the other side. She chose the other corner I pocket, think but she's got an angle. Still about the angle. Can she get? into the four ball. Now she's going for a safety, but well, it's not <laughs> not 100% safety here. And that's asking for trouble where she's left this. Fans, lots of Filipino fans here actually. And I'm sure there's lots and lots watching there in Manila and Cebu and all those other lovely places and around the Philippines. For Great Britain, it's not not only Great Britain, but there have so many countries, right? Like the former Commonwealth countries, and here she's totally out of position and snookered herself. They start a little nervous here today. I think she might have an edge here, is she? Or is she going round first? What to do with this little edge? Yeah, <laughs> here's John. Here's John Lehman, our referee, just making sure that she's hit a rail and indeed the four ball she has. I think she's going to be in trouble again here, though. Touchy little sh shot here. Is that the specialty from Kelly to touch it a little bit and park the cue ball behind the seven here like that? Absolutely like that. That's the strength from her, isn't it? She would have liked that tighter onto that seven to cut off the one rail up, but now she's left her the chance to go just across the table she'll be trying to hit the left hand side of this ball and she want to hit it softly so that because the six ball is covering anyway the pocket so sh in any case kelly sees the four but cannot do much with it except now it would be a risk to go maybe for the combination i think if she was a left-hander she might well, she's going to go for a special little rest implement here there you see it mm -hmm. she turns it on its edge and gets the higher part of it she's going for the bank here nine seconds uh, she's going to call extension surely no she's not wow that was a bizarre sequence maybe she wanna save her extension <laughs> yeah i don't think it's been used has it maybe just a few early nerves fabulous other semi-final Germany versus the Philippines went to a shootout don't know whether you saw it guys if you didn't after this match go back and check it out fantastic yeah entertainment wow 
It was down to the last ball. Right? Ralph and I were having lunch together, weren't we, Ralph? Whilst yes. it was going on. During lunchtime, we were watching that. Oh, this is. Oh, I thought it was going to go. Not bad. Good cue ball. Don't think it goes, does it, Ralph? I don't think so. But what else to do? Let me see. There's yeah. a double kiss. I should just touch it to the left or right, probably. Mm, no. Cross corner is also blocked. Maybe she can still. I like pass the cross it. corner here and just not go for the four, but just get the cue ball up behind the nine, maybe. Mm -hmm. Has to avoid the double kiss, though, as you said. I don't think it's on. She's called something. What's she called? The six? I guess she called uh, the pocket. Where did it is at? The six or the four? The six. six. Yeah. Wow. Good shot. And now. That's a great combination. And she got another shot, a thin cut for the same pocket. Okay, now she got control here over that game. A little test, now the seven ball, right? She has to get the position right between the ten and the seven, and there is there's something something called the side pocket, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, she come to the center of the table-ish. Yeah. That's decent. So, key shot coming up. Typically talented Filipinos. Very creative. Yeah. Very exotic style of play all over the country. And yeah. Well done here. Maybe a little bit straight. Would it like just a little bit more angle? I think she can draw off to the side rail here, though, with a little bit of right hand spin on the cue ball there you see aiming low right yeah. and zip it up towards that nine ball well didn't really get a lot of english on that one could have a little bit more side spin yes does she cut it in or is she gonna bank it cut natural roll behind the side pocket for the 10. nicely played so this temple then to take the opening rack of this year's Predator Team World Championships. Who's going to be? There it is. And it goes. Big cheer. Nice long shot. Ten ball here. And the first win for Team Philippines yeah. by Rubilin Amit. And they're playing for 40,000 euros to the winner, 26,000 to the runner-up, and also 15,000 has already been paid mm. into the pockets of Team Germany. Oh, that, yeah. So, uh, did you realize that if you think about, think back 12 years ago when they had the first World Team Championship, and in the final it was Great Britain against the Philippines. No way. They get. And Great Britain won, and they get revenge 12 years later now. How about that? Well, will it be revenge? That's the question. Who will be the winner? Who is going to pick up that check for 40,000? I know one lady would love to. It's the one at the table now, Rublin Armit. Yeah. Kelly Fisher has other ideas. <laughs> <laughs> How about... Uh, do you remember? There's one player in the team, in, in each team. Only one player is is back here from in the still in the team of Great Britain, and he was also in the team um, 12 years ago. Darren Appleton. Exactly. Yeah, Darren, great player, been around, has won nearly everything that the sport has to offer, and just wanna tell you about another couple of little rules that we're playing here there's a 30 second shot clock in use one each player each player gets a 30 second extension per rack and we are playing early tens no 10 on the break but you can carom or combo the 10 at any other time it's providing you hit the lowest ball on mm -hmm. and that's a win also yeah which is normally pretty common or often the case in nine ball is also here in fact 
yeah, just the one difference, you do have to call the, the shot. You can't just fluke it. You yeah. can't just get lucky. Yeah, every ball has to be called. So you have to come up That's with certain decisions here and there. That's the difference to nine ball. Sometimes you can try this ball and give the other ball also a chance, but here you have to make a decision which ball you're going for. And this is inside spin to hold the cue ball for the four. She played that really well. She played a shot in the semi-final where she drew into that corner pocket. Managed to avoid it this time. Nowhere near. Well, you learn from your mistakes, don't you? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> some do, jo uh, <laughs> Ralph. I don't always. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At this angle, she... Oh, she might get a little angle on the six now. Here it is. She don't mind, but she has to go cross, crossing the table right to times. You don't want to get any unwanted English on this. Just a little bit of right. And land the cue ball near the nine ball. Or with the same angle she just had with the six. You make it sound so simple, Ralph. Well... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's certainly not. <laughs> when you stand in front of the table and you, uh, and you have to shoot that, then you know how difficult it is. Yeah, leaving a longer eight, not bothering about getting too close to it. This is perfect to get position for the nine ball. Now, will she play it into the side or the corner? Either. Doesn't matter. Maybe come two rails and play it into the side. Two Ralph? rails, and then it's either way short, like stopping here, or longer, like stopping there for the side. Absolutely perfectly played. It will draw shot here for the 10, and it's going to be 1-1. One, one. We're going to be level. Fist pump coming up. Darren Appleton looking semi-happy. And Jason Shaw. <laughs> well done, Kelly Fisher. Here we go, 1-1, one, one. race to four. Some people, some uh, viewers might think, hey, what is that? It's a race to four, isn't it too short? Isn't it a little gamble? But on the other side, you, will s you have to see it's a three winning set match, right? So you have to win at least 12 games. Basically, it's a race to 12. Yes. And this is something, isn't it? Well, I'm glad you said that because Kelly Fisher has always said that whenever she's playing in the Pro Billiard Series, which is the, the singles version of this, if you like, she always treats it as a race to eight. And she said, I don't care what the rate. If, it's, if I know it's two, two races to four, then it's a race to eight. If I get to eight first, there's no shootout. My opponent cannot win. Yes. So just win eight racks. So. This one little bit different you gotta win 12 that's mm -hmm. okay that's it <laughs> there's three of you <laughs> that's less than three each yeah it has to be it has to have some <laughs> team character and here we get close up from the break from the side kelly fisher one, one in the side more. perfect break stop that cue ball dead in the center of the table is the two gonna bounce well she's got a maybe a shot and she had a lot of side spin on it just for decoration of course because it stopped very nicely in the center look at this wow there is the arcos two cue ball spinning and you'll see when it comes to a stop the little arrows on it the little black arrows yeah and i bet with the this Arcus two ball, cue ball is probably spinning one more round than the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she didn't want to kiss that. Now there's a uh -oh. chance that this may be. She's having a quick look. Does it go? She will go for it anyway. If it goes or not, with a little curve, it goes for sure. I yeah. mean, difficult, but it's possible. She might even just be able to clip it round first. I didn't quite see where the the two ball was do you remember where the two ball was in the break uh, no, oh, sorry right. the, oh it's that no, no 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 the three sorry i'm looking at uh -huh. where's the three there i think she can make this she wants to play it automatically with right spin anyway mm -hmm. ralph she's doesn't she she's going for it and maybe trying to get the rail first the window between the seven and the nine maybe oh, oh she's missed it almost scratched I tell you, Rupert, she was unlucky. Well, the two Going ball the went in, corner, so huh? there's an option. 
here. Look at that. He's got a <laughs> double kiss on it and went in the other corner pocket. Now, just to explain this rule for you, because it wasn't made into the pocket that she called it in, Kelly Fisher now has an option. Does she want to play it or does she want to pass Fashion it back please. to her opponent? Yes, that's her option. Well, that's up. <laughs> Any, it, it can, you can that's get a, a longer shot than this one, right? <laughs> this is long, quite some angle, cue ball. Tough shot. Digging low down. into the eight or... Oh, what a cracking shot that oh. is. I bet her teammates love that. Now then, four goes, but look at the five. How did she get to the five, or does she play the, the combo? Yes, <laughs> the combo for the ten? Mm -hmm. Come on. Such a long shot. Yeah, she's going for that. She can go through the window with a follow shot, maybe it's from the seven and the nine. Yeah, that's what she tried. That's why I didn't like it. You had to... Wow, look at that. Well, look at that, a double whammy. Some fortunate. <laughs> She's laughing, <laughs> and I don't you. think Armit will be laughing at that. <laughs> Sorry, Ralph. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, read her lips. Can't believe it. Do you think she meant sorry or not? Well, we have to take it. It is how it is. Oh, that's well wow. wide. So ball in hand. Then now this makes it much easier. She can choose the angle she wants to play the four. Look at that. That was a very close shot, though. Yeah, she was trying to come behind it, wasn't she? Yeah. So now, let's see. I got no doubt that Kelly Fisher is keeping the control here till the end. But that's the usual battles, right? In the beginning of the game, if it's not wide open already, then it goes a little bit back and forth with save, three safeties, some lucky shots, maybe some not. Until someone suddenly, because of a mistake of someone or because being lucky, get the control yeah. over the game. And then it's about holding the nerves, holding your calmness, yeah, staying composed to bring it onto your board. That was a combination of both, wasn't it? Kelly attempted the pot, got nowhere near it really, and then got lucky. Mm -hmm. So it was a mistake and a piece of luck in the same shot. Mm -hmm. Two for the price of one of <laughs> <As> again. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sail on. <laughs> okay, I guess with this angle she's not going into the eight and naturally going near this diamond there. So that's that's nice. Yeah, a little bit. Then I just go across the table, back out. For the 10 for a 2 1 lead. It's looking good. And if this 10 ball goes in, we're going to go out just for a couple of minutes and then we'll be back with the very next rack. Thank you guys. See you soon. Stay with us.
Welcome back, Kelly Fisher. About to break. Well, what a trio there. Look, there's trouble right there. Ian Anderson on the left. Kareem in the middle. Of course, the head of Predator. And Rod Stewart on the right. <laughs> Rod Stewart, come on. It took me a second to get that job. <laughs> come on, wakey, wakey. <laughs> So just a quick thanks, guys, to our sponsors. Of course, without this, without them, it wouldn't happen. Predator Qs, the WPBA and Pro Billiard Series Global Partners, CSI, Kamui, Alpha Coin, Jam Up Apparel, and the Rums of Puerto Rico. And we're going to go off to Puerto Rico mid-November. So you can join us if you check, check the Pro Billiard Series dot com website and what check the calendar then you know when you have to tune in again to watch those great matches from the pro billiard series yeah next one of course ralph is in michigan on the 21st of this month so very very soon i'm off there are you coming yes. with me uh, i would love to i would love to but uh, i got some other schedules in berlin for lessons ah uh, okay keep teaching that magic so Kelly then looking for a piece of her own magic on the three ball here. She would love to break and run this. Oh dear, oh, 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 oh dear, oh, oh no. dear, oh dear. She oh. didn't get any, well, she caught the three ball too thick. Yeah, but uh, way more That's spin, one, right? Way more spin, let's more, see. More, much more spin. She didn't have any spin on it, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, normally it's the case that you put a lot of spin on it and hit maybe the rail first and then scratch. But this was correct. It was unbelievable mistake. So hard. Wow. So what a gift. What a gift for Rublin Amit. The twice women's world champion. But she missed the trophy this year, right? Went to Taiwan instead. Yeah, she was defending champion, wasn't she? Yeah. And here looks like a she's going to collect that game to put it on her board, on her account. No worse feeling than breaking great, running up to a five or six ball, missing, and letting your opponent just come in and reap the rewards from all your hard work mm -hmm. it's going to be 2-2 two, two. well now then could have been a break and run there instead Rublin Armit runs the last few balls Johan Chua of course as well and Carlo Biardo Carlo Biardo is already practicing here on uh on the neighbor table here in the arena, they, when you don't see the complete team in the arena, then you can be sure that the other player is going already doing some warm up and practicing for his upcoming match. And so does. I just saw another world. Calabiado. I just saw another world ten ball champion in the background there. Huji. Yeah, Huji C, a yeah. former world champion in ten ball. He's now working for Predator Group, getting things done. Yeah, John Lehman getting things done. The rack is ready. Rublin Armit is going to break them and undo all John Lehman's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. How is nice. it? Oh, getting kicked in by the eight ball. Look at this shot right on the two ball. But she, sh it was wonderful control, just like a stab shot, right? <laughs> and the two ball in front of it, okay, wrong angle, but she can certainly maneuver around. Either way, to bring it in a short rail, long rail, probably. I wonder if she or likes going. Low left, I would say. It's a short rail, long rail. Or or is She's it? coming round the other way. Short ray, long ray. Yeah. I said. Oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. High right. Great shot. The... Beautiful, spinning it up. 
the three bow. This might be either a stun or a high ride on the three bow to get to the five. Let's see, she's checking out. Ten seconds. The way. Ten seconds. And she needs the extension f to make this decision. It's not much of an angle, so no way a hard stun or a high right. She you liked your high right there. All right. She can borrow my high right. <laughs> you're playing very well at the moment, may I say, Ralph? <laughs> Thank you. You're playing, you're running this rack absolutely perfectly. Well, come on, I'm seated in the <laughs> final here, right? <laughs> Together with you. <laughs> and this uh, might be a natural two rail for yeah, the six ball in the neighbor corner. I mean, here in the lower down corner. Well, it's a little bit wrong. I Means she's going to be going into the seven ball. Or can she avoid it? Can she just stun past it and leave the seven into the side, maybe? Can't see it yet. She don't mind to bump into the seven a little bit. Should be okay for the side pocket. No, it's no, a little not bit that wrong. Good, not that good. Amazing, isn't it? You get a little bit out of position. And then mm. the next one is a little bit harder, and then the one after that's a little bit harder. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you have, when, when you don't get your perfect angle you wanted to get, either way you have to do a little repair, or it's getting worse. Yeah, this is perfect now, though. A little bit of low left hand spin on the cue ball just to hold it there. Well, and a little bit far again. Oh, a little bit too much action here. Making things interesting for all of us. See what I mean? It just get it keeps getting a little bit worse, a little bit worse. She needs to recover here. Still comfortable for her, I believe so. Yeah, held it well. So this ten ball to go on the hill for Team Philippines. Kelly Fisher sat there, knowing it's very little chance of Rubley missing this one. All right. Very delicate. And it goes. 3-2. Shakes her head. She can't believe it. She can't believe it? Why? <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a fantastic six days here. There's Kelly. She's got a black armband on there, you can see. That's for Queen paying Elizabeth. respect yeah. for the Queen, who yeah. passed away last week. She will be hoping that they're going to be crowned world champions at the end of this match. Mm. Well, there's Johan Chua having a sip of Coke. He's ready. I wonder who will be playing the singles first. Will it be Carlo? I guess it's Carlo Bialdo because he's warming up. Mm -hmm. And we know who's going to be playing the singles for Great Britain. Jason Shaw, isn't he? No, he was just, I don't know how much you saw of it, if you saw any of it, but he was just outstanding against Chang in the first semi-final of the day. Okay. When, here we go. Here we come. Study Closer the break. To the decision of this set. Booming. Oh, she just got kicked away there from the side pocket. That was nearly trouble. Look at this. One, two, and three ball was going in. <laughs> in order. How about that? Here yeah, the one ball. Yeah, and it's goes the two and the three. Random racking, and of course. <laughs> and the four is in front of her. Five, six, comfortably in front of the side pocket. Right? So, well, it looks pretty straightforward to me here. Yeah. Seven may be sitting just a little bit awkward, but look where the six is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, five. Perfect. Well, from that angle, she will probably play the six in the corner. Why not? I mean, why not? Can. Let's live a little. Come on. 
I like coming off the side rail and playing it in the same pocket personally, but like you, she's chosen the pro shot rather than the a stupid Englishman's choice there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't went uh, it didn't went uh, very fortunate here. I mean, uh, she's frozen to the rail, makes things more difficult, and maybe there's still some hope left here for Kelly Fisher to come back to the table. Okay, I you must say I'm surprised. So? I'm super surprised that she played it like that. She's making her own problems here. Mm. Ralph. She solved it though. She solved it very well. <laughs> nice control. Played it. Absolute pocket speed. Beautifully played. And is this a shot in the corner, rather than the side? No, I don't think so this time. You think for the corner? No, I think for the side. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right again. She's missed it by and a long she way. missed it. So, here comes the chance for your girl here. For your Great Britain is back on the table. Having a chance to equal out. She missed that by... She hit the second diamond. Yeah, that's... Well, sometimes it happened to pros well. As well. I've seen them drop in in the old days on the bigger pockets. Mm. Ten seconds. Oh, what a shot. Oh. What a shot. What a <laughs> shot. <laughs> that was... <laughs> wobbled and wobbled and wobbled. Wow. Yeah. Use the tolerance of the corner pocket to its extent. Okay, another thin card. Naturally soft, maybe going that's three that's ways around. And come on, that's not hard enough, not hard enough. Further. But she's okay. Is she? Okay, is she? No. We don't know. <laughs> it's um, not an easy shot here. No, it's not. I mean, it's horrible in the side. More difficult in the corner as well, but she's going to go for the corner pocket here. I think so. It looks like the Her side. side. Side pocket. Yeah. Great yeah. shot, Kelly Fisher. Wow, she's got a lot of... In it goes, and we're going to stay with it because we'll be going for a break after the decider of yes. this first set. In it goes. Let's see it. Hill, hill now. And John Lehman from New York. I bet they are missing him pretty bad. Uh, we are going to nip for a quick break, guys. We will be back soon.
and here we are back at the arena. It's 3-3. Three, three. We got a decision maker for the first set here in our race to three winning sets. And this set goes to four. 3-3 three, three apiece. Kelly Fisher to break. One ball. Inside. She's very consistent on that. Two ball unfortunately travels and travels and travels. Doesn't look like a good shot here on the two. Well, at least she's got a shot at it though. She can get to it so she doesn't have to push. She can decide her own fate for this two Isn't ball. It, it's very tempting to make an early shot on the, on the ten here. Yeah, I'm just wondering. I was thinking exactly the same. A little bit difficult though. She's got a nice safety on here. She can hold maybe the cue ball behind the six or so or followed it. I like half. She's, she's, she's looking at it. Mm. I think she's looking if she can play a two way. I don't know if she called it or not. Ralph will soon know what she's playing. Probably the safety. Yeah. Trying to get. That's okay. Oh. She's got cover. She's got cover. Yeah. Kick or jump here. That's. She got. Ugolin got her. Playing. No? Sh yeah, she got a playing cue. So no jump here. She's going to kick at it. Attention, please. No, but she's jumping, I think. No, she's not. Is she kicking this one rail off the short rail? She is. No, this is a tough shot, isn't it? It is very tough. Played it well. But the Philippines there are so good at kicking, aren't they? Well, Kelly will be going at this. Boy, yeah. there's an easy safety on as well. Can she hold for the three, Ralph? Well, she will probably give a little inside spin, right? And trying to get even on the first part of the right Ten long seconds. cushion. Attention, please. Yeah, she's worried about hit maybe hitting the five ball and hooking herself behind the four ball, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. As you say, go with a little bit of right hand spin just yeah. to turn it over towards that side where the three is. No, she's going naturally, running well, into the five, here's which the is problem. Not, no and good. And that's the problem. Does she, she, she don't like much uh, using a lot of English, don't she? Normally she does, but you know, she she's an ex-snooker player, so they're not used to using so mm. much spin, you know, not spinning it around like maybe the Filipinos do. Yeah, um, if you use too much spin on snooker, right, you don't miss a b you don't make a ball there. <laughs> she's got to be careful here to keep the cue ball on the table. Ooh, well, she kept it on the table. Oh, close. she's got a little kiss. What's it like? She's no luck. Well, that looks comfortable here. Yeah, nice easy start up on the three ball. A little bit inside spin to keep it in the center line. Or oh, she's going low right, two rails. Slow yeah. up, slow up. It's okay. I have to use a rail though. She seems a happy girl, doesn't she? Yeah. Skipping around the table, smile on her face. Come on, well. why not? You're here in Austria, in Corinthia, and uh, you've got Game. a bad angle on the five. So yeah. <laughs> I think she was trying to run into it. I think she thought she was going to catch it. Oh, perfect. Great shot. Well, Stunned the cue ball. She don't mind bad angles, bad angles there, huh? She's doing good. So. Well, she was the reigning Women's World 10 ball champion. From the last time it was played, she went out of that particular tournament. Can she be crowned as world champion still in 10 ball, but the teams this time? 
They're going to be crowning four world champions this year. Three in this match and one already crowned yesterday. Yes. Chow beat Wei Chu Chen in the final. Such a nice, smooth, firm shoot up of the ball. Rublin arm it, Ralph. Maybe. No, not even a little shake here because it's 3 3. She really seemed to enjoy herself. Okay. Here comes some set ball. Yeah, and if it goes in, we will be off for a short break, but we'll be back with set number two. The men's singles, that's coming next, guys. Welcome back to the lovely Sport Park Hall here in Clegham Our second set is the men's match. Team Great Britain to break. Jason, Jason Shaw. Shaw. Carlo Viardo. It doesn't get bigger than this. Big break, one in the side. Shot on the two. He'll be happy with that. Absolutely blasted them. Thought the six or the three was going to go. Thought the eight was going to go as well. Okay. He'll settle for one, a uh, couple of balls though, won't he? No Jason <laughs> Shaw. What's his nickname again? Eagle Eye. The Eagle Eye. Going in the corner with this past the eight ball. Perfect on the three. What's the stumbling blocks here, if any? Can you see, Ralph? Well, sh he will, he's going to use a little right side spin, and even if he runs towards the 10, he doesn't mind to run into it, but he tried to avoid it, of course. But you see, danger was there, but if you hit it a little bit, it won't do much to your, to your plan, to your road map. But this looks pretty convenient for him yeah stop the cue ball from the five six waiting over the side seven eight simple eight to the nine he's on the right side of the table as well it's all looking good here for jason shaw i think i might well i'll make a couple of these anyway i'd make at least <laughs> the six ball i think here 
Well, I'm very sure that you're going to run this out also. I mean, it just depends on how many innings you need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks in a hurry. He looks determined. He's carrying on where he left off in the semi-finals. He was absolutely, well, suresome in the first match of the day. Look at his queuing, everything in accordance to the textbook here. Very straight line and arm. Yeah, simple little draw will be automatically on the 10 ball. This then to take the first rack in the men's singles. In it goes, no problem. Just another day at the office for Jason Short. He let it look so easy, right? Nice. Yes. I played him last uh, year at the International Open in, in Virginia. There's Carlo Biardo. Look, he'll be off to defend his US Open title next month. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to pop into Michigan on his way, though. The Kellogg Arena. Yes, Kellogg's the cereal. That's what it's called, the Kellogg Arena in Battle Creek. Is that right? The Kellogg Arena? Yeah, I mean, it's a really interesting place, actually, Battle Creek, because it is the home of Kellogg's Cornflakes. They mm -hmm. own lots of exhibition halls and hotels, and mm -hmm. all around its fields where they grow this lovely wheat for all the cereals that you eat probably every day. I'm sure you're a healthy eater. You look nice. about, I know, you're, I know your age, but you look about 30. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. John Lehman has finished his work, and like you like to say it, <laughs> Jason is about to destroy his work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big, big break again. He made a made three, the three ball. He got a shot on the one. Oh, look at Two this. This is perfect. Nearby. This is perfect. There's nothing really challenging here either. It looks a wide open, which is not always the case when you break from the side, right? But he got such a powerful break. Well, he's up for this. This is a world title, and interestingly enough, Jason Shaw has never won a world title. Hmm. This would be his first. Thanks, Nick Till, for that little piece of information i didn't realize that either i just took for granted that he must be a world champion at some point no he hasn't been this will be his first if they can do it some players are called world champion before they are because they they just they just are world champions come on <laughs> yeah just hasn't got the it's, it's a bit like being you know having a long-term girlfriend but never having a ring yeah, that's right. Isn't it? Something like that. A piece of silverware <laughs> in the shape of a trophy. All business, Jason Shaw. Yeah, I bought to the nine. And it's winner break, isn't it? Winner so. breaks, yeah. He might not get a shot, Biardo. Imagine that. Did we have this case this week? We had not, no, not in a whole match, no. Not that I've commentated on anyway. Maybe on one of the outer Maybe, tables. maybe, yeah. Just brilliant, just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Great break, perfect cue ball control. 2-0, Jason Shaw. Nice, Team really GB, nice. there you see. They're all sitting, oh, I've, I've got OCD. Kelly's sitting in the wrong place. She should be in the middle. Move, can you please, Darren and Kelly, swap. There's <laughs> 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 okay. Carlo Biardo wondering, will I need to chalk my tip or not? He's just been warming up on the table outside and hasn't had a shot yet. And he knows winner breaks format. He's punished enough people in his time. And they're just rolling the rolling his beautifully white gloved hands yeah, across the rack there, just getting them nice and tight. 
Aerorack triangle from Predator. The Arcus two balls are ready for another break from Jason Shaw. He looks a little bit like a like a warrior to me here. Yeah, he, he means business, this guy. This to go on the hill in the matter of minutes. Another great break, one in the side. Cubal, look at this for a break. He's destroying this rack, absolutely destroying them. Oh, now then, does he mm. go for the cut in the top mm. left-hand corner? What a break that is. Wow, amazing. Three balls on the break. Look at that, just wondering. Now, does he go for it? No. This looks like the safety. Yeah, keep him, keep him cold. Keep Carlo cold. Hooked him. You'd expect him to hit this, of course, Ralph, but it's not hitting it. It's getting it safe. It's not about only <laughs> kicking it. It's about getting a resafe or <laughs> a fortunate. Uh, yeah, he called it in the corner. So why not making it? Well, that would be the ultimate safety, wouldn't it? Making Look it just like it. that. He oh, dear, oh, dear. He's not finished yet. And that just shows you why you have to keep him tucked up really tight. And I'm sure Jason wanted to get that cue ball in tight behind that eight ball, but seemed to just stab at it a little bit. Oh, what a shot. And he needed another shot on the two. A great shot. He needs this two ball. And well done with perfect position on the three. Wow. Yeah, Jason won't be happy with that safety shot he played on mm -hmm. the one ball. And Carlo Biardo, don't forget, is well capable of running four racks himself. He won a world title in ten ball. He won the US Open, right? So he's dangerous task. Jason thinking, why didn't I get that cue ball tight behind that eight ball? Mm. And he could have tied it up also at a two ball. I was thinking about that, but anyhow. Now, this game goes to the collection of Carlo Viado and Team Philippines. Yeah, it's all going to be about how well he breaks the balls now. And we will find out when we come back after the break. GBR lead 2-1. Here we are back in the arena, and it's Carlo Biado to break. 
because he got advantage out of a little sloppy safety from Jason Shaw, who was performing perfect until this point. And now it's all about the break from Carlo Biado. Can he continue his run? Yeah, you saw them eyes there. Look We've at got that. It's, it's like the definition of center table, but... But look the at the two ball. ball. Look at the two ball. No, you saw in his eyes there. We've got eagle eye. We've also got tiger eyes. The black tiger <laughs> is the nickname for Carlo Biardo. The black tiger. Can he claw his way back? Well, he's trying to make a kick and stick, probably, like this. Well, is it going to leak out a little bit? It's pretty good, I guess. I think he, he might be able to get through to the edge of it. I'm not mm, sure. He needs a little curve then. There's yeah. Joshua Filler. Look, hello, Joshua. Hello, Pia. Come on, give us a wave, Pia. Come on. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Hey, Torsten. Torsten. <laughs> the hitman. <laughs> Germany, of course, lost to the Philippines. And that's why they're watching from the sidelines, but I'm sure their time will come. It's a title that I'm sure Germany will win. He don't need to elevate. There's no curve. She, he got a, he got a shot at it. A bank shot? No. Oh, don't go in the wrong pocket. That's well. Has he got cover on it? I think he'll be kicking this if it isn't. He kicks that. Yeah, he'll, he'll kick this no problem. When it's so close. To this is like corner. a hanger. It's a hanger, isn't it? It's not that kind of a hanger, but for, for hanger. Come on, <laughs> come, come on. on. For Carlo Biardo, it's, it's ball in hand, this. He'll take this ball in hand and put it there. Probably. Just to show off. Probably he will. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you another apple juice if he misses this. Very nice. Oh. Bad kiss. He's on Oy. top of the three. He's tree topped. He won't be potting this. That's the only thing controlling the cue ball. If he'd have missed the nine there, there you see, almost touching. He's got to use the bridge as well. What a lovely little picture that is. Look. What a nice camera view. Beautiful. Well, Jason won't mind this because. He must have been fearing the worst when he saw he'd left that kick shot on the two. I'm pretty sure he's going Oh, Well, I'm not that sure, but I guess he's, he's going he's for the jump it with shot, him. Right? He's brought the jump cue with him. There it is. He's going for the corner. He has to watch here that he doesn't lose the cue ball off the side of the table. There's his... Because when he goes for the corner, he got the angle to go back to the four ball. Yeah, he's got to watch this. Now then, needs a bit of luck, needs it to finish behind the four ball. Well, it's going to finish behind the four ball, but once again, he's got a kick at this. Carlo Biardo, one rail kick, maybe catch the second one. As we see the replay, Jason getting over it, no problem. I actually saw Mario He having a go with his jump cue yesterday, the panda. He's made it. Nice kick shot here. That's a brilliant in the Philippines with those kick shots. Yeah. Maybe it's something in their breakfast or so, right? Perhaps they eat Kellogg's. I wonder if he's going to Michigan <laughs> to the Battle <laughs> Creek Kellogg Arena. Maybe this was a Kellogg's kick. Well, you, what you could say is he makes so many of them. He's a serial kicker. A serial <laughs> kicker. Come on. <laughs> I like that. We're coming up with quite some quotes here. Who, All right. who needs Phil Yates when you've got me with my little puns? <laughs> <laughs> six ball. What about the six ball? Does it go in the side, I guess? Yeah. He got a good angle at it, almost too much, but oh, he's checking it. It might be not that, not that obvious, but it goes. He's checking again. 
Yeah, you can just see daylight between them. It's okay. Guaranteed to be on the seven. Well, if that kick, if that hook shot that Jason Shaw played, remember that one on the one ball on the eight, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, the the one on the one behind the eight, right? Yes, remember? That's what I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dead silence. Biardo just getting rid of one of the balls in the pocket there. Doesn't want it popping out if there's too many in there. In it goes. Ten ball to follow. It's going to be 2-2. And Biardo will be breaking. Even score. Race to four. Yep. Good crowd enjoying this pull. There's some Filipinos there. Look, hello. Quite some Filipinos. Do you crowd, speak any yeah. Tagalog? Um, no. <laughs> I learned Do a little you? bit. Well, I I learned a little bit when I was there. I spent a lovely year in on the island of Cebu. I saw the lovely chocolate mountains. I swam with whale sharks. I saw the biggest python wow. in the world at the time. Nice. I forget his name now. He had a name. I forget it. It was 22 feet long uh, from memory. Okay. Had a great time there. The lovely island of Bohol, beautiful, beautiful food. Mm, I can imagine, but I had never, never been there, unfortunately. Well, as a pool player, you need to visit the Mecca, as, <laughs> as Marcus calls it, Marcus Shamat, the, the Mecca of pool. The Mecca of pool. Here we go, Biardo breaking off to get on the hill first and take the Philippines into a two sets to nil lead best of five sets interesting breaking position it's not near the center it's not near the side right in between big break is it dry is it dry i think <laughs> it is oh a little kick on the wow that's right normally this break is a little bit uh, makes the one ball a little bit too long i wonder why he changed he p I'm sure he broke t the side, didn't he, before? He, he had the same break b uh, just before, and it was good. Ah, that's why he stuck with it then. This time, must have maybe hit it slightly different. Mm. Push out called. Push out called, says referee John Lehman. John's off to New York for a few days tomorrow. And then he, too, is off to the Kellogg Arena. Philippines, your option. So now, just to explain to new viewers of this wonderful game of pool, Jason Shaw has played what they call a push out. Now, Carlo Biardo can choose whether he wants to play the shot himself or put Jason back in. Now, he's going to kick this from behind. He's called the side pocket just in case he makes it. But the main target is. To let the oh. kick and stick the cue ball down there and bring the one ball on the other side end of the table, which almost worked perfectly. Yeah, I think I think Jason might jump at this again. Mm -hmm. It was a decent enough kick. Would love if the one had yeah. have missed the six, though. Of course, he and he would have had cover. Well, he's looking at the rail first here. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to go. Extension called. Each player, of course, one 30-second extension each per rack. There's the familiar pose of Eagle Eye ready to swoop. Now, once again, needs a bit of luck. Has he got it? Is it going to... Oh, he's going to sneak through the gap, is it? Has no, it? No, no, I don't see a shot for, for Carl. No. So it'll be another kick shot, probably off That's the so short true. rail. From the top view, top camera view, it looks uh, maybe he still has a shot. Does he? No, I don't think so. Ten seconds. No, he has no. to go for cross corner bank. Attention, please. Wow, what's he? <laughs> yes, sir. Cross corner bank. 
Yeah, he's a good one pocket player. And there he goes. And look, though, is he hooked behind the four ball? Played lots of English on that to get the cue ball out of the way. Did it go through enough? Yes, it did. You got a shot, huh? Yeah. Maybe a little right side spin, but. Yeah, just to twist it around yeah. the yeah. four ball slightly. Go into the seven ball, maybe, with a cue ball. No, didn't have to. Drops Very it in soft. beautifully. And another soft shot, probably, for the three, for the four on the side. Yeah, just turned it around the four there, didn't he? Just slightly through the four in. Uh, sorry, the two in. Oh, he's playing low. Maybe he want to go for the four. No, he still keeps it for the side pocket. At this angle, he's probably going straight into the right long rail. And wow, sure lots of English straight. on that. They love spinning, don't they? Oh, there wasn't so much English on that. It was almost a natural, natural outcome there. Nice pictures they have from the players in the arena. Yeah. Always. It's like a like a television, right? Those those screens around the arena table. Yeah, they can put any images on there you want. Oh, what's he done here? What's he done here? <laughs> he snookered himself. He snookered himself on the seven ball. Has he snooked it? Can he just get an edge? No. No, he can't. He has to kick at it. Well, Jason's smiling. Jason <laughs> He's enjoying that. Exactly. <laughs> He's even going to watch the replay on the big screen. Yes, he He's wants to see it twice. <laughs> 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 He's going for a re uh, Okay, here it goes. Now then. Oh, did it pass the 10? Tight. Well, if it doesn't pass the 10, maybe... The seven ten combo. Sure. If it doesn't, he's called the ten. I think. Has he? I guess he can pass with the oh, seven. Oh, he can pass, can he? Yeah, he can get past. No problem. Yeah, shaking his head. And that's exactly what Jason Shaw was doing a couple of racks back when he led two nil to go on the hill. Miado came back with two racks. Jason Shaw, he's going to get to the hill first. Well, you wouldn't have predicted that, would you? No way. Hmm. What a dreadful shot he played there to get from the six to the seven. Right. And it goes. Yeah. It'll take them all day if you leave them for him. The Months. fist pump, some life back in Great Britain now. So, after this little mistake from uh, Jason with the little well little sloppy safety but it was a fantastic shot from Carlo Viado potting that as a as a kick shot right there's um, Tim De Reuter sorry to interrupt you look there's yeah, there's Tim. the jockey the horseman, <laughs> the horseman. was that George Taylor chair as well in his Harley Davidson here Mrs Taylor chair he's been spending all his money on new Harley Davidson gear and look at this trio of trouble there's uh, Esteban Robles, of course, from Alpha Queen, one of our sponsors. There is Kareem in the middle, the head of and Predator. And, and just going out of sight now is Ian Anderson. Anderson. Look, we just missed him. <laughs> Kareem thinking up his next tournament. The president there he from is, the look, WPA. All the way from down under, mate. Good day. How are you going? They talk like that in Australia, mate. He's going to go off some crocodile hunting. Crocodile hunting. There we go. <laughs> He's Crocodile Dundee. He's n not looking that dangerous. <laughs> eyes on but the prize. Eagle eye. But this guy looks dangerous here. Yeah, look at the one. No. No, no, no. All right. No ball this time for Jason. And Carlo might have... He's got to jump at this, hasn't he? He has to jump on that. No push, nothing. Yeah. Well, position to the two ball needs to 
draw back off this or maybe yes, catch sir. it rail first calls the one in the corner is that an aluminium jump cue he's got there oh no it's a it's a carbon fibre yeah that was the problem not for the beginners shot. of the game for the beginners of the game we have might have to mention a proper jump shot has to be executed by hitting the cue ball on the upper half of it of the cue ball not like uh, how no, do you call no it? scooping no scooping at all this is illegal Ten totally attention please so this um, i see only a He's going for a safety probably, but there's also a bank shot on in the side as well as in the corner. But here's the safety. Oh, he's kissed the three, is he? No. Well, it's a little bit short. Maybe Jason can see the entire two ball. I think he can. I think he can. What to do with it? Extension. Yes, he's asking, has he got an extension? Yes, he has. Well, this goes now. Does he slow That's roll this in? He's super good at this shot. Him and Filler, probably the best two players in the world at this next shot. Yes. Joshua Filler's watching. I bet he knows what he's going to do here. Mm -hmm. We should have tried and got Joshua in the in the booth with us, and you could have spoken German to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I will. Philippine viewers wouldn't enjoy that, but he missed well, that. And he's got the option here, but he's not giving this back. Two ball mm. passes okay, to three. It's gone wrong. He pushed the boat out a little bit there. Jason Shaw going for that. Will he live to regret it? I wonder that he was uh, shooting it that hard, especially since you said he's very good in rolling it in. I thought he might roll it. Yeah. I would have rolled it. Yeah. Ten seconds. And it goes perfect on the three ball. Jason will be fearing the worst. So will Kelly and Darren Appleton. It looks like it's going to go hill hill. This is the final of the World Team Championships, the Predator World Team Championships. Race to four, best of five sets. If it goes 2-2, two, two, we go to a shootout. And I think that might be the only option available to Great Britain mm. if Biardo can finish this rack and win the next. Such a nice player to watch, isn't he, Ralph? Yeah. The way he moves the ball around with ease. I wonder if Efren's watching him now. Nice angle on this. Will he play the combo or will he come across and play the nine into the same pocket? Cross for the same pocket. Oh, he's aiming low. No, he's, play, he's playing the combo. Yes, Early tens count, as long as you hit the lowest ball on the table. This time it's the nine. So this then to go heel heel. And we're going to go for a short break. We'll be back very, very soon with a conclusion of this first set. Actually, I don't want to go for a break. No, I'd rather sit here let's and let's, let's have a little chat, shall we? There, there we see stay. the three Filipinos. Do you remember who played in the, in the Philippines team 2010? Oh dear, you're <laughs> asking me something <laughs> now. R it was Ronnie Alcano, Lifan Corteza, Vern Kiamko, Antonio Lainey, Marlon Manalo, and Dennis Ocolo. <laughs> they had a big squad back then, right? Now yeah. it's only three players and one woman. Yeah, it was a it was a different format back then, wasn't it? This is the exciting mm. new format, which I've actually learned today was thought up during COVID times, and uh, Karim and a few others were 
sat around and they actually tried this format out in a, an online tournament in Bordeaux, I believe, mm -hmm. in France. I believe that's the truth. Here we go, Carlo Biardo breaking off on the hill. It's hill, hill. He keeps his breaking position. He's going to play softer, which is smart. Last time it was pretty hard. One ball was too long. No and shot. Now a little softer and it comes shorter and no shot, unfortunately. Does he him. jump? Does he jump this and make the or does he push? Well, I need to have a longer look at this, but uh, yes, why not jumping at it? Depends also on the position for the yeah, the three is yeah, nice. The th yeah, but okay. the, the, the two, he will still have the two on the table, though, mm. won't he, if he plays if the combo? If he hits combo? it square, you don't have to worry much about the two. But it's a too long jump. He will probably lose control, right? Maybe cue ball is jumping off the table then, because it's such a long jump. You He's see? pushing. Too long of a jump. It's going to yeah, lose the cue it's ball. Long, long jump, isn't it? Yeah, cleverly getting rid of that 10 ball that's over the corner pocket. That was a push shot, so it's not a foul or anything. It will just be re-spotted by referee John Lehman. And now and Jason is giving it back to him because probably there's no direct shot on the two ball. Yeah, you might have seen actually Carlo before this came round to that end of the table where the 4-2 is and check to see if he played the cue ball there. What would he leave? What kick would he leave? I didn't think he could get round that far, did you? No, I thought about the other side. What a great shot that is. And he has to do now also this uh, this kick and stick here, maybe. Oh, is he? Wow. Nice Between the window kick. of the five and nine. This is a good shot. This is a great shot from Jason Shaw. Is there another window? No. Nine ball is blocking completely. And the trouble so is, <laughs> yeah, you left him a kick. You think he's going to make the ball every time now. <laughs> he's just so good at it, isn't he, Ralph? Hmm. Probably two, two rail kick. Yeah. Oh, a nice little tickle. We got a resave here. Almost identical. Almost identical shot left to him. Look. Mm. Look at that. Very similar. He's gone for the jump cue. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. He'll be looking to get this safe. Has he got it safe? Needs a big kiss here. Oh, don't go in there. Well, he's left it. Nice square hit on the two ball. But was hoping it he maybe could have hit the eight. side pocket. <laughs> oh. And this will be another safety, probably close with the cue ball to the six ball, isn't it? Yeah, good call. Doesn't go in the corner. Oh, he doesn't want that too near that corner pocket. Well, this has made this kick a lot easier in my eyes now. Mm, still difficult, of course. It's nice to have it in front of the pocket, but look at the three ball. At least uh, there's some work left. Even if you have ball in hand, you probably have to yeah, curve him into the six to continue from there. But let's see if he is going to make a legal shot here and kick oh, it great in. great shot. This really... No, don't kiss the seven and go in. He's all Ooh, right. Really. This was really good. Great a shot. Great Could shot. easily have scratched off this, couldn't he, if he'd have just got it wrong and got mm. the other side of the two ball. Terrific nice. shot, Jason Short. He's not afraid there going for something. Appreciation look from Kelly. And Darren both tapping their legs, and we know where the tap comes from. 
That's an orchestral movement, isn't it, Ralph? Mm -hmm. And yeah, they take it over to the world of billiards. Mr. Mozart. That's how we began this week mm -hmm. with uh, with a lovely opening Thank ceremony you. to the music of Mozart. Thanks to Albin Ocean's father-in-law. Just because it's supposed to be that way, because it's also an art <sighs> to play that game. Yeah, I love that explanation you gave about bringing music to the game of pool. It was very, it was almost romantic. Romantic, Ralph. Absolutely. It's Are a you a bit of a romantic? Uh, let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> do you buy flowers and yes, chocolates? Believe Ten it or second. not, I do. <laughs> there you are, you see. No, I don't mean for yourself. <laughs> I end up eating the chocolate <laughs> yeah. on my own. <laughs> oh, great shot. Called that, I think. He called the eight in the corner. Oh, has he got any luck? No, oh, dear. Now, it was a shot yes, similar yes. to this. Uh, similar to this, we had it. The eight and the one. Yes, exactly. And yeah. now he has to play it uh, behind the nine, uh, behind the five in this case, right? I wonder. He'd love to be having a go at this. Yes, yeah, Call the shot. Oh, no. He's calling the corner bank. Yeah, but I don't think he's playing it. He must be coming down here for safety. Yeah. Just in case shot. All right. Another jump for the Black Tiger. Jump over the 10. Hidden three. Tiger. Yes, sir. Pouncing Dragon. It's it's thrilling. Three, three. Come on. Great Britain need this set. Yeah, to this is huge. On one, one. Scotch doubles to come after this, whatever happens in this set. Kelly Fisher and Darren Appleton okay. will be in action with Rubelin Armit. And Johan Chua, that will be next. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's got cover, has he? Or can he get through to it? I guess he can get through of it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, I'm not sure. Can he? Yeah. Maybe second. a little left side, but... Yeah, banking oh, it. Had to bank it. it. What a great shot. Whew, like it was nothing. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Jason Shaw. Now then this to steal the set back. He led it 2-0. Biardo came back to lead 3-2. Jason Shaw made it 3-3. Needs a shot on this six ball. He's got it. He's absolutely perfect on this six. Seven waiting, begging to be potted. <laughs> begging to be potted. Now I can hear it. Yeah. Now you say it. Pot me. Pot me. Three balls away from one set all. <laughs> Oh no, he's caught the 10 ball. Wanted to come past that. How does this happen? I mean, well, started with a great bank. Can he make another bank? I don't think the bank's on, you know. That was quite a miss. He can't believe it. Off the outcome yeah. of the Man. He's going to have to play safe here. Wow. Excellent. Good shot, Jason Shaw. Appreciated. Well, he can hit it. It's a straight up and down here for the nine ball. Bank shot? No, I don't think so. I don't think he's going to bank it, do you? Yes, he, he has. He's gone. It. He's called the bank. Yeah. Ralph, mm -hmm. hold on to your hats. Ten seconds. Here it comes. It's there. It's there. It's there. Huge, huge shriek. A huge shot. It's Philippines too. <laughs> he knocked Great my Britain. Sucks off here. Zero. <laughs> In it goes, and we'll be back after the break with the next set. A fist pump from Shaw and Biardo. See you soon.
And here we are back at the main arena, and I'm all We're alone here. Sets. Mark left the building he had enough in after of this mistake from Jason Shaw. What do you think about Scott's that? Double set. Team Philippines to break. So here's now the mixed double between Rubilin, Ami, and Johan Chua against Kelly Fisher and Darren Appleton. Oh, I just went to get some tissues from the bathroom to wipe my <laughs> tears away. I'm okay. I wouldn't leave you hanging on your own, and I wouldn't let the the pool fans down. Of course, here we are. Great, great final here. I love this format. It's absolutely fantastic. It suits the team game so so well. There we see. Dry, wasn't it? Yeah, dry. A thin cut on the one not everyone wants to go for, but let's see what they... Look out to the left there, look, Ralph. There is the, the world left. champion, the world women's yes. temple champion, Zhao, and standing next to her is Wu. Part two-thirds of the Thai one team. Chang is probably practicing somewhere. One ball, one ball, one ball! No, too soft. soft it's not very often the case that English men playing too soft right <laughs> yes, ma jump shot By Ruby meet. yeah we see it going really high great shot but she's lost the cue ball yeah, she's going to be hooked hit on the... Well, not hooked. There's a shot still on here. She hit a, uh, and there's yeah. Jasmine Ocean, look. Jasmine. Oh, look, there's Wei Wei. There's yeah. little Wei Chi Chen. Second place of the World Championship of Women's. And here it was the women. So we got a full house of World Champions there. Yeah, lovely to see Jasmine back for the final. Lost in a, a heartbreaking semi-final. She's one of the big organisers here. This is her hometown, of course, Klagenfurt, in the region of Corinthia. And it's a beautiful little town. I had a walk round, and I know you had a walk round today. Yes, it's very beautiful. Man, what a nice, neat little city. With so much history. And the cue ball don't go behind the five, OK? Johan Chua had enough heart to try this long cut shot, but missed it a little bit. Yeah, Darren Appleton. Nice shot. Five ball will follow into the top corner after this four ball into the bottom left hand corner. Yeah. Four or five are obvious. Some angle for the on the five to make sure you go over there to the six. Don't have to be all the way. That's perfect. In perfect. The center is enough. That's perfect, yes. Oh <gasps> dear, oh dear. Oh. Well. Who missed that one? Darren Appleton. Unusual, it was a good position. So, oh, that's okay. Overdone it slightly, but it's just it's okay. natural roll here for Johan Chua. Pretty young player here from the Philippines, right? Yeah, when you Too think far. It's okay though. He's, yes, it is a little bit too far. Darren reliving the nightmare of that five ball he just missed. Attention, please. Two rails, please. Arm it, he says. Mm -hmm. Get close with a cue ball to that corner pocket. And then it's heading when it hits the second rail right at that eight ball.
it's perfect. A little bit further, maybe, but it's uh, still a feel-good position here. I wonder if Anton Raga is watching this. Who? Anton Raga, great Filipino player, youngster. Mm -hmm. They've got more coming through. Elijah Alvarez springs to mind as well. They call him Wonder Boy. I met him in Bangkok. Terrific player as well. Talent runs deep in the Philippines. And it goes 1-0 to the Philippines. There, don't touch the balls. Well done, Rubelin. Just reminding Johan, don't touch the balls because if you put balls on the table while the cue ball's still rolling, mm -hmm. it's a foul. Yeah. You have to be careful when you're on a big stage like that. You have to stick to the rules exactly. And that's not for every player. If they are new to a stage like that, then they are not used to that. So sometimes they make... Uh. Just to remind you what we're playing for here, the winner's team will get 40,000 euros. That's roughly translates very approximately to $40,000. Something right like now? that, US yes. dollars. Yeah, something They're like that. almost equal now. 26,000 to the runners up. And already third and fourth Taipei and Germany have picked up their checks for 15,000 euros each. It's a nice payday today for quite some players. Here we go. From our sponsors. Yeah, thanks guys. Kamui Predator Partners, of course, along with CSI. Alpha Coin, Jam Up Apparel, and Rums of Puerto Rico. It's been a fantastic tournament, this. Nine boys gonna make it? No. So a chance. One ball getting kicked. I thought the nine was gonna go, but it didn't. It was spinning the right way, but it just didn't have enough pace to drop, Ralph. Mm. Tell us about this rack. Look, well, look at the 310. She's stunning it just near between the 8 and 10. Yeah, and I mentioned the 10. Look at the 310. I mean, it's, you know, the 3 hasn't got a point. Well, it has, I suppose, but it's not easy to get on, is it? I wonder now if he's trying to get a shot at a 10, which could be the side pocket only, or <laughs> look about. I mean, it's it's it would be very strange or very funny to play a position or try it between the three and four extension called oh at least there's you know there's two of them now so two mines are better than one maybe they're thinking about running into the four and five split them apart and get a shot at the three but it would requires a lot of luck um, so why not going into the three yeah, that's trying, a good... Trying to bump into the three. Trouble is, if you go past it, you might hook yourself. I actually like drawing behind these off two rails mm. and actually playing pinpoint position on to the three. Like that. <laughs> Just like that, though, look. Oh. Well, was, it, was it a miss or a safety? Rise nice smile. Rise nice smile from Jason. Tapping along to the music. It's a cheeky little tune, this one, isn't it? We've been hearing this all week. Oh, well, I hear it in my sleep, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking two rails. Oh, look at this. Oh, nearly. Oh, look, it's mate. Oh, now, has it knocked the 10 on? No. Well, it was a nice try from Johan Chua here. Nice try to kick that. But uh, 3 10 combination in the side is. Probably, n I doubt it. No, you so can't get to the right no. side of the three, can you? Mm. I think you've got to play the hook here behind the five. So and maybe just... Maybe just a little exactly follow. Mm. What, to get to the three, you mean? No, yeah. it's the wrong angle, I think, okay, isn't she's it? She's playing safe. No. Oh, she's... Wow. She's supposed to play safe, maybe. <laughs> Look at this. No, it's on. This two ball is on. Oh. Well, Greg Britton makes quite some mistakes uh, in this match so far. We are not used to 
No, they made more in this match, I think, than in any other match up to the final put together. Now then, uh, it's going to play the hook here. I don't think this combo's on. He must no. be playing the hook behind the 10 yeah. or behind the 4. And it'll be a pretty good cover. Oh, he's playing low. Okay. Uh. Oh, I don't like that shot. That's a pretty poor shot, that very, very sloppy safety there from Johan Chua. Yeah, he can certainly get an edge of the three ball with a little curve only and create another safety out of that by keeping the three ball nearby the ten and getting the cue ball to rail yeah, down. Yeah, he can certainly hit this three ball. Not a great shot from Chua, unfortunately. One yeah, two, but too far, or too far. He got no. Well, he's left exactly the same shot. Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. just a little bit further away from it. Yeah. Shaw seems to be enjoying it still. I suppose it's not a bad payday, is it? No, it's not. To take back to Connecticut in the US. Hopefully we'll see him in Michigan as well. US Open, of course, coming up as well. Yeah. And Carlo Biardo. One of the Filipino team is the reigning champion. He's got the green jacket. I bet it won't oh. fit after COVID, though. Did you miss that kick here? Foul. Ball in hand for the Philippines. Yeah, quite some way off there. The Philippines will be feeling very, very good. Hi to everyone there. I'm sure there's lots and lots of you watching. I guess it's round about 11 p.m. there, something like that. There or thereabouts. Okay, with the five, it's pretty easy to go naturally to the six, and then the seven goes into the nine. Maybe a little hope there, but not much. I think there'll be fireworks tonight in Manila. Fireworks in Manila. How they'll be running that? around the streets, celebrating another great win. They're used to it. When was the last time they won this? Well, <laughs> in 2010, they lost it to Great Britain, but and they were runners-up also in 2014, but they haven't won it yet. It's going to be a first. For the Philippines, it would be a first for Jason Shaw, who's never won a world title, believe it or not. Well, the good thing is it will keep him hungry for, an, for a title coming soon. Yeah, this is going to be 2-0. Philippines looking great here. <laughs> and it goes round of applause as Rublin Armit takes the rack to lead 2-0. And fist pump. I didn't expect it to become a, a, a straight three set win here for Philippines but why there's still some hope what's the Just standout memory for you this week from the last six days of play what is there anything any player any incident that any match that jumps out at you hmm. as being a, a really big memory well the shootout just before with, with uh, team Germany in the Philippines this was an awesome match right thrilling and yeah, it's mostly the team matches which which bring up so much thrill. But I remember also the nicest kick shot so far was seen by um, the the three ball. 
uh, the three ball over two rails. We were together in the in the booth, R right? Rubelin Army, yeah. this one. Yeah. I don't think it was me. I think you were with George Taylor Chair at the time. No, no, it was with you. Was it? Yeah. I've no, slept. I've slept since then, <laughs> <laughs> Ralph. Breaking off. I was posting it in my story already today. I'll have a look later. It wasn't uh, Rubin and Ahmed. It was uh, she Shen from from Taiwan. Oh yes, she I hooked remember. Herself. Yes, that was the six ball. Was it? Was it the six ball? No. Anyway, yeah, do I don't know. It, she was. It doesn't matter. Five. It doesn't matter. Back to this, and All the right. one goes in the side. Breaking them out there. Well, yeah, he would have liked to have held that back a little bit. I think he's gone too far. I don't think Kelly can hit this. Well, she might just have an edge. Well, maybe use a little bit of left hand English. No, she can, doesn't have to. Center ball striking. Great shot, Kelly Fisher. It's gone too far. Clean shot, though, but too much speed. Well, not enough. At least she oh made the ball. Like to take. Well, the good thing about this is if he trusts himself, he can roll this in for position on the four ball into the same pocket. Looks like he's digging down, though. He's going for this big time. Oh, great shot, Darren Appleton. Brilliant. Absolutely good shot. And now comes the five. Must They must play for a bank shot here. No, he's on the four. I mean... Oh, sorry, for Playing position. the four I'm for sorry. position yep. on the five. Yep. As a sorry, baby. Ralph. Yep. I'm with you. You're a typical pool player. You're already one shot ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not an easy bank, though. I'm just wondering... If he's thinking about, well, he's thinking about the bank shot, yeah. He's called it. The six might go close here as well if he draws it. He has to play it not too hard, otherwise he... He will go too far, but yeah, it's in. It's in, good shot. Well played. Now then, twice across for Kelly Fisher. Oh, that was quick. That's the quickest <laughs> I've ever seen him play. <laughs> that was Tony Drago, wasn't it? Was it? Okay, she's going uh, crossing the table wide two times for the seven. Yeah, good shot. That's perfect. I wonder if he's going to stun that with power or just roll it for the eight in the opposite corner. Yeah, he's going to roll it. Oh, oh, he's followed it. Very followed confident it. shot. What a beautiful shot that was, Ralph. That requires confidence. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. it? That was also very accurate, yeah. Terrific shot. The nine will go in the same pocket as the eight's about to disappear in. This isn't over yet. Great Britain aren't finished yet. They want to force a shootout from this. Keep coming, cue ball. Keep coming, cue ball. That's okay. Remember, after this set if GB can win it it will be team pick to see who will come out and play the next set I'm pretty sure it will be Carlo Biardo against Jason Shaw again I've already played four times in this tournament Jason will be hoping it will be six all right, 2-1, Great Britain on the board. I think um, it was also a little bit... We're just going to nip for a quick break, Ralph, oh, okay. and then we'll come back. All right.
Well, it isn't over yet. We've been doing Sweet Caroline in the background. The crowd have been jumping. I was got up for a little dance there. Did you Mark see me, Ralph? was really enjoying this music here in the break. <laughs> okay, and here's the break from Darren Appleton, the Dynamite. Is this break also full of dynamite today? Yeah, it certainly is. Three ball goes in. Where's the one ball? One ball in front of chance, the corner. Chance at the one. And Kelly has to play I think, I think over if she, the years. I'm not sure. I was just going to say, I think maybe she can get to the left-hand side of the cue ball. I'm not sure. Yes, she can look. Mm. Which is the side she needs to try and hold the cue ball a little bit off the rail. She's still... Oh, she's having to. Yeah, you're right. This is tough. Oh, lovely little touch. Oh, she wanted to touch on the two as well. Mm -hmm. Darren's going to... Well, no, OK, he can still see this. I wonder if he fancies cutting this into the, bot the top right-hand corner. Oh, that would be such a... No. <laughs> such Have a I gone a little bit crazy me. again? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why not? If you're desperate, desperate Thank players. Oh, not? I don't know. From this angle, I've seen these made this week. Okay, from this angle, it looks a little bit better. I confess that. Around the back of the nine. Yeah. Maybe some no. right side spin. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. There is a four-eight combo on. If he can make it. Cubal. Is he uh, going for it? Yes. No. Oh, he can hit it. Quite thick. Like half thick, yeah. And that's everything he could get, I mean, out of that. And that's not too bad when I saw two all the other options. There wasn't really much he could have done here. Look at that nice safety. And he's frozen behind the six. Yeah, fantastic. And the Filipinos are known for their knowledge of the angles. Absolutely brilliant shot, this. Well judged. Lots of cover, of course, but to get right behind the, s the six ball there, great shot. To really kick. Oh, oh, that must have been close. That must have been very, very, very close. Very close, yeah. Oh, ball in hand. Let's have a look at the replay. Oh! Mm. Mm. Okay, they probably will even play for position on the combo. Although I might be a little bit biased towards Great Britain, of course. I do love watching Great Paul. And you have to be honest and say the Philippines have played some nice pool. They played a nice pool, yeah. Absolutely. As they and, always and do. Great Britain did some mistakes that we are not used to, right? Is Edge. this the beginning of the end, Ralph? on the six wants to stun out back off the side rail extension called oh no she's wasn't just checking the score well she needed a pretty powerful stroke not much of an oh, angle fine. there and now it's okay I want to get a clean cue ball Time stops, the, cl the, the clock stops usually for that, but not always, right? Yeah, it depends which tournament. You mean Moscone? No, it doesn't. Perfect. And the nine. This then to go on the hill. The Philippines will need one more rack to be crowned 
2022 Predator World 10 ball team champions and that's perfect on the 10 nice shot Johan having a little smile to himself he loves these he'll pot these all day long and in it goes well played 3-1 is the lead now race to four well let me ask you Ralph hmm? is there a way back for team GB what do you think yes there is a way back bad break right run out from Great Britain and another run out by with their own break then they are on 3-3 three, three. then going back and forth and with some luck winning this one then it's 4-3 then it's a singles match between Jason Shaw and uh, and Carlo Villado again and then it's a shootout and then they win basically we can still call them favorite come on <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go that. to the shootout now, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it doesn't look that bright the future year for Great Britain in that match. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a tough way back. Let's say that, but they won't be giving up just yet. You just have to concentrate ball by ball anyway. But it's turn off Team Philippines here. And. Oh, ten ball going close. Four, eight, ten. Everything is still there, but no shot on the one. So we can expect a rollout here, a push out. Where can they hide? Where can can they make a pu uh, an offer? Well, it's tough because especially with that ten ball over the corner pocket, and you know, I'm wondering, can he hit the ten? If he can, yes, he can. I like making the ten here. So you think maybe kicking, uh, uh, pushing into the 10, making it? I think make the 10 and bring the cue ball. ball somewhere. Yeah. I think that's the play here. You've got to make the 10 ball and leave the cue ball back down here somewhere. Yeah. I mean, if you leave them the shot at the one ball, they're going to be going for the 10, right? Mm, well, probably. If they can, somehow, even if it's exotic, it's worth a try. make the tent cue ball back down this end of the table where his cue is now we're still not discussing about the 10 ball playing the 10 right it's you about do. hitting the they want to push the cue ball towards near the corner so they offer a long wow. long 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 straight shot there. but you can bank you right. can bank the one onto the 10 here yeah. and get a safety out of it as well you mm. can play the, the cross bank onto the onto the 10 can't you it's or partly blocked on the two but a two rail cross bank might be available and bring the cue ball down I just knew if they left the 10 there, they were going to be going at it, and that could have gone in. Mm. Yes, it was beautiful played. Beautiful shot, so inventive. Wow, look, Rubelin having a little smile about it. How close was that? I didn't expect that. What a great effort. Nice. Really nice. Come on, Kelly Fisher. Wow, drew that back as well. Great shots from Kelly. Such a difficult repeat. shot to draw back from that distance with the ball so close to the pocket as well. Great shot. Is there fight left? Big draw shot from Appleton this time. High Nicely accuracy. on the three. Look at this. That was really, I mean... <laughs> what a great shot. He's still got it. He's still got it. Okay, now it's a natural follow. Three, four, and what to do with the five? Let me see that. Uh-huh. They need a certain angle here on the four ball. That's good. Five ball is not going... 
And here they are checking. Uh -huh. Maybe they're checking uh, for safety or no, no. No, draw no, onto no. it. He's looking to move it. He's looking to hit it. Or come round. Oh, oh, it's gone wrong. That was not so good. Dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. You get the feeling. It might not be their day. But you have to be honest and say it's their own mistakes that mm -hmm. have cost them. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds. Philippines taking their chances. And there's no time to cry about. You just have to come up with the next shot, right? Uh, well it's right. a shot oh, long way off. That's it. That's that it. That could be the last shot from Team GB That's in the 2022 it. Predator World Team Championships. Mm. Jason smiling. Playing position for the six in the same side pocket or in the corner with a slap shot like that. You are unsure. And a nice little draw. Talk us through these last three balls, Ralph. You can have the honor. The soft roll on the eight for the nine. Now he's going all the way up and down, two rails. Oh, that's a great shot. <laughs> Johan Schuhe, and now Gubilein Amit. Two balls away. Low left, two rails for the ten. Carlo yeah. Biado smiles. The World Championship shot. Well, don't celebrate yet. You still have to pot the ten ball, Johan. Yeah, don't run out of time here. <laughs> In it goes, and Philippines are the world champions. We are going to go for a very short break, guys, but we will be back with the presentation and some player interviews. Thank you so much, Ralph Eckhart. I'm Mark Wright. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a nice round of applause for our runner-up, our silver medalist, Team Great Britain. And our 2022 Predator World 10 Ball Teams Champions. Team
count for the last time here at the 2022 World Championship. Welcome to the finals of the World Teams Championship. We have the new champion of the world, is the team of the Philippines. Welcome to the official winner's ceremony. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, ein letztes Mal herzlich willkommen aus dem Sportpark hier in Klagenfurt bei der Weltmeisterschaft 2022. Wir haben einen neuen Team-Weltmeister, das Team der Philippinen. But at first, before we start, we have to thank everyone who made this here possible. Thank to all partners and sponsors. The city of Klagenfurt, the region of Carinthia, Jasmine Ushman, Billiard Academy, the company Richtwerts, Predator, Kyus, Kamu and Alpha Coin. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, ich darf Ihnen nun unsere Laudatoren vorstellen, die die Preise übergeben werden. Ladies and Gentlemen, I have to introduce you our award committee. One guy is coming still a little late, but we're waiting. It's one of the most important guys I will introduce to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we all welcome them with a big hands of applause. You see on the right hand side, CEO of the Predator Group, Geschäftsführer der Predator Group. Give a big hand of applause for Karim Bellac. Herzlich willkommen auch Stadtsportrat der Stadt Klagenfurt. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the City Council of Sport, Mr. Franz Petritz. The President der Welt Billiard Association, the President of the World Billiard Association, Mr. Ian Anderson. And for the firma Richtwert from Organizationsteam representing the company Richtwert, head of the OC, Mr. Gerald Florian. Herzlich willkommen, a warm welcome. And now back to our glorious teams. We have two drittplatzierte, ladies and gentlemen. We have two teams in third place. We start. Please welcome Joe Chiyu, Wu Kunlin. Chang Yunling, Team Chinese Taipei! <laughs> the medals are presented by Kari Belac, CEO of the Predator Group. A gentleman, as he said, ladies first, we love to see that. Also receive bronze medals. Ebenfalls auf dem dritten Platz und somit die Bronzemedaille. Pia Filler, Joshua Filler und Thorsten Hohmann, Team Deutschland! Congratulations, herzliche Gratulation an die Dame und die zwei Herren aus unserem Lieblingsnachbarland. <laughs> Schön, dass ihr hier seid. Congratulations and give them a big hand of applause, Team Germany. What a tough and strong final here at the last day of the championships. Such a cool team. We love to see you play. Ladies and gentlemen, auf dem zweiten Platz Silbermedaille. In second place, silver medal for Kelly Fisher, Darren Appleton, Jason Shaw, Team Great Britain. Congratulations, very, very strong games. We love to watch this final.
And once again, a big hand of applause for our Wise World Champion Team Great Britain! Und jetzt, sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, das neue Weltmeisterteam. Ladies and Gentlemen, to collect 40,000 Euros, the gold medalists, the new world champions, Rublin Amit, Carlo Biedo, Juan Jua. Ladies and gentlemen, the new world champion team, Philippines! Sie haben nichts anbrennen lassen. Ein sehr, sehr starkes Finale gespielt. Fast keine Fehler. They nearly did no mistakes during this final game. So well deserved. The medals are presented by Ian Anderson, the president of the World Billiard Association, and the trophies by our head of the OC, Gerald Florian. Just one photo. Und dann, meine Damen und Herren, zu Ehren, der neuen Weltmeister. Die Hymne. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for national anthem of the Philippines. <laughs> Gentlemen, Rubilin Amit, Carlo Viedo, Juan Chua, the new champions of the world team, Philippines! Congratulations! And that's it. So I want to ask Rubilin if you have a few seconds for us. Come join us here in the middle. Congratulations again. How does it sound to you, the new champion of the world? As a team, it feels amazing because uh, the last, the last uh, world championship, uh, the world teams championships. I think we placed second, bro, no, Carlo, we placed second, and now we're finally the champions. And I'm very, I'm very thankful that I have Carlo and Johan as my, as my teammates because they're very awesome. They're very good players. So, guys, thank you very much. Because of this, we're winners. We love you. Love you. <laughs> And we love to see a team spirit. Wait a minute. So uh, you will have a big party here tonight in Klagenfurt or something? Oh, I don't know yet. I don't know what our plans are. But right now, definitely, we'll get our phones and message our families and friends. And we're just very happy. Thank you. Thank you to organizers, to the sponsors, to the supporters, to the Filipinos who are here. Thank you very much. Uh, after for this to happen during a pandemic, this is, this is huge. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here and thank you to all participants, all athletes. You were just amazing. Thank you. And that's it. This were the Predator World Championships here in Klagenfurt. Hope to see you soon. Have a nice Sunday. Till the next time. Goodbye.